Oikein hyvää pyhämiesten päivää kaikille ja tervetuloa Inter TVn taajuudelle. Mulla on saatu tänne haastatteluun Fabrizio Picaretta, joukkueen päävalmentaja kaudelle 2018. Welcome Fabrizio. Thank you. So now it's your first preseason as the head coach of FC Inter Turku. How do you feel about that? I, of course, I'm very pleased first to be again head coach of uh, this Porto club. And uh, uh, since since I took I took charge of the team, uh, I always thought that my first target should be to uh, start a new season from. Uh, from the beginning, we have the chance to work uh, uh, with the players I want, uh, my principles to play, and uh, to to do it in, uh, in the best way. There is no uh, again, uh, there is no better option to, to start from the, uh, the beginning of season to have the, the whole season to work. That's true. That's true. Uh, but first of all, when I when we watched. Uh, players who have left FC Inter now, it could be really tough first 11 in Veikkaus Liga. So, uh, how is this uh, building of the new team, which is the main focus? Because we can now see that you don't want to have the same same build-up that they had last season. Uh, of course, when, um, when, I, when, when I signed, uh, I asked the club to uh, make sure that I, I could decide the players that uh, would leave, uh, and this is what I did. So basically, uh, this this club in the last two years have been a lot of problems, and we know. Uh, as I said previously, we all made mistakes, but uh, I think that not only from this season, unfortunately, we know that. Uh, last, the previous season was even worse because this club, we don't have to forget that, uh, got the, uh, the safety in the last game against Teps. Uh, what I asked to the club is to uh, try to renew completely the, person, uh, the, playing, uh, the playing staff because I think that when a player or more than one player um, are in the same club, for two years and for two years with three different coaches, things are not going well. There is something. There is something has to be changed, and this is what I did. So players like uh, Petros Kanakudis, uh, Naboyo, uh, Kostamane, uh, Kaupi, mm, to mention just just to mention some of them. Um, I think that they gave to this club what they 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 could. And I don't think they can give. They could give more. Um, other players, in my opinion, weren't uh, right players for the, uh, the way I want to play. Uh, other players were, in my opinion, not fit enough to to play at this kind of level. Uh, so for all this reason, I decided to uh, change, uh, and the club uh, supported me. I, I always said. I always said from the start, from the, my first day in charge, that I would want to build uh, a new uh, generation of players. So uh, I want to really change something. And this, if you want to change something, you have to do it. It's not only words. And um, this is why now the players that are coming are uh, younger, are hunger, they have more. Uh, they are hungry, they have more uh, desire to succeed. Uh, and I think that the signs of this uh, change will be uh, visible from the season. Uh, about uh, the team next year, one big, big news were when you were appointed that uh, uh, Italian Simone Lucchesi. How Lucchesi. do you? Lucchesi. 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 Simone Lucchesi. Lucchesi. Simone Lucchesi will come in and take the physical training yes, part. Yes. What can you tell us about Simone? About Simone. Simone is a top professional that worked at the top level in Italy. Uh, he's 36, if I'm not wrong. And um, 
he worked already in different clubs, several clubs in the top league in Italy, in Serie A, Lazio, Lecce, uh, Sampdoria, more recently. Uh, and then he had also international experience because he, he worked in the United States, in the New York Cosmos. Last season was in England, in, uh, in a club, Leighton Orient, a London club. And uh, when I, of course, he didn't come here because he's Italian. I had uh, the chance to select uh, from a few CVs. They were Finnish, they were Spanish, there was this Italian. And this CV was, the, in my opinion, uh, the best one. The, the, the one who fits more the way we want to train. Uh, the principle and the methodology that he, he uses are very close to or the same that we, as a club, we want to um, carry out. And one important thing is that he will also uh, implement uh, the academy with this principle. It will be, will give a sort of uh, guidelines to the, also to the academy. But of course, his main job will be to make sure that our players will be fit. And uh, this is why I'm very happy that he is part of the staff. And this is something that I've always uh, missed in, in, uh, in the tour, so we never had a proper fitness coach. Even this season, last season, sorry, uh, I took all um, care of this fitness um, part, but of course I'm not a fitness coach, so a proper, proper professional was needed. Uh, what about situation with the other staff? Uh, uh, is Eduardo Rodriguez continuing with the rehab players? Yeah, everything uh, remains the same. So we are not weakening the staff, we are strengthening the staff. So it's the same staff with John Allen, will be again my assistant. Edu Rodriguez will be uh, again the head of physio. And uh, yeah, Darilain will, will, be our, will continue as a, a goalkeeping coach. So nothing changes. Um, again, I think that the club made the right choice to maintain the, the staff and uh, again, uh, it's a new start but especially uh, from a player's point of view and uh, this new signing will, uh, I'm sure that will, will be important for, for the way we want to play. Oh. When we go to the new players that you have already signed, uh, one of the most important names, uh, uh, not, not important names, but uh, names that make me want to know more about it, is uh, Manpa from Haka. Yeah. What do you know about Manpa and which kind of player he is? Nilo Manpa is, um, is a young, talented midfielder. He's part already of uh, the Finnish national team. Uh, He's a player that fits the way I want to play. So basically, in my opinion, what we missed uh, has been uh, some energy and uh, um, a proper box-to-box -box midfielder like he is. Uh, he's technical gifted and uh, he's intelligent. Also, he's a very good professional uh, and this is, has to be the base. Like. Uh, Almost all the young players in Finland, uh, they have this desire to, to succeed and to go maybe abroad, you know. And this is why uh, we need this kind of players. Players like, like him and uh, like the Miku Kurigas that will join as well. So uh, I need players that can work in both uh, areas, defensively and attacking. Because what we missed this season has been, especially in the midfield, a sort of protection for our defenders. And uh, I think these players will, uh, will uh, perform also in the best way. Uh, one question about last season. Uh, when I was watching the games beside the, the field, so Ari Neumann, he is uh, he's really great professional player he can play where where he where you put him he can play wherever you want to play him he's a iconic player in FC Inter 
Uh, what plans do you have for Ari? He, have, he was sent back this season, but he is he's, he can also play as a position eight, position Listen, six. Uh, Ari Newman. Uh, the plan that I have for Ari Newman is to make sure that he will be always healthy, because he's, as you said, he's not only an iconic player. He's, a, he, in my opinion, and I told him, and I and no problem to, to to say again that has been the man of the season for me, the player of the season for Inter Turin. Uh, he's a great professional. He's intelligent. He's He's not uh, very. Uh, he doesn't like to speak too much, but he always lead the other by example. Uh, he, as you said, I played him centre back, I played him midfielder, I played him right back, and his performances have, have always been uh, top. Uh, in my opinion, because also the age for him as well is uh, is start to uh, to affect. Uh, I see him as a centre back because I need a player like him that can, can play from the back. Uh, he has the quality to to build up the play and also, of course, to, to lead and to guide the, 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 the back four. Uh, again, my plan is to have him healthy and, of course, uh, it's impossible. And I told him as well that. He will play 33 games plus the cups, but he, is, uh, he will be again uh, one of the main uh, players of this uh, of the next season. So he is he is one of the key players you are building yes. your team. Yes, also because uh, Ari is a uh, is a player that one of the, those players that have uh, understood straight away what I want to do. Uh, and the problem, in my opinion, last season. It's not an excuse because we all made mistakes. I, I did mis uh, made mistakes, but one thing is sure, is for sure is that the main problem uh, is that the way I want to play and that the change that I try to, to make, uh, some of play the players have understood same straight away, some others don't, uh, and this was the the main problem. This uh, idea of playing uh, try to attack and win the ball straight away when you lose it. If you don't do it 100%, it's, uh, 90% is not enough. And uh, Ari is one of the players that uh, understand this and uh, he will help the, the new players to, to get in this uh, idea. Uh, the team for next year all the signings you have made is youngsters. It's, they are good players with great uh, qu quality in the, these youngster games they are playing. Are you looking also from so, for some players who has more experience of the uh, main level in the Yes, uh, this is a message for our supporters. So. Uh, they don't have to think that we want to play youngsters. Uh, we want to play and we want to make sure that our youngsters and our talented players will grow uh, together with the more, the more experienced players. Other three, we have to, to bring other three, four players and uh, especially in a couple of positions there will be more experienced players because uh, of course, we can't play only with the youngsters. Uh, but experience, from my point of view, doesn't mean old. Because when you bring in an old, experienced player, player, if this player doesn't perform, the experience doesn't count anymore. Only the age counts. And the age is a problem if you are not performing. So. Um, for me, experience can be also 25, 26 years old player uh, who have played already five, six years at the top level in Finland or abroad. Uh, doesn't have to be 34, 35 because Finnish football is not uh, is not easy. As you, as we saw this season, there are teams like groups like uh, Latvia. Uh, the physical, uh, physical side is 
is important. And uh, I want a player that have experience, but have the energy and the fitness to to fight for uh, 90 minutes or more. And this is what we lack this season. Uh, so, yes, again, other players will come and would be experienced, but at the same time, we'll have the fitness and the energy to, to really perform at the top level. Uh, the goal is this is for the next year. You have Henrik Moisson there, you have Arti Martin and Jere Koponen. Uh, are you trying to find some place to get one of those trees on a loan deal somewhere? Because there's no way three goalkeepers can play. No. Uh, listen, I can, tell you, I can tell straight because it's something that uh, we discussed already with the club. Uh, our idea is to, of course, uh, to, to have Enka. Uh, and Yere, opponent, and give the chance to Ati to, to play uh, games alone. We will decide where, because it's important that Ati uh, will be back to Inter Turku with a load of experience that will um, allow him to become the goalkeeper of the future. Because he's young, he's talented, and we don't want him to uh, wait, not waste, but to stay on the brinks of the of the team and not play. So uh, Ati will probably go alone somewhere where he can play and have, uh, again and gain experience. For uh, what do you think about the development team in Division Three now? I've seen there. Too. Uh, are you gonna have some cooperation with those players? Because uh, Inter 2 is uh, part of the club, and uh, we will use this team, like as, as well as the A juniors, to uh, grow the players, young players that can be uh, they can move to the first team when needed, uh, without the pressure to. Uh, play top level football and again grow and improve uh, with the time that uh, is needed and the fact that the Inter 2 uh, won the league last season and, and they will now play in a better level is good for us, for us because our young players can play and uh, develop in a little bit better uh, environment and better team against better players but again uh, the best young players, those who will deserve, like Appel Ferelias, Martekangas, uh, Lassi, Viola, and, and uh, Jonas Muse, they will train with, uh, with me, with the first team, because it's only training with the first team that they, they can improve and speed up their development. Okay, uh, then uh, the last, last thing, the season, or the Two last seasons in Afshain there has been really hard seasons because they have been happening a lot. A lot that um, coach can affect and a lot that comes from the coaches also. And it has been a little bit of Hurricane Katrina here in Turku. Yeah. Uh, there are few players who have seen this and they have contract next season also. How are you going to manage this difficult situation? Because uh, there must be some kind of uh, mis mishappiness in, in those experienced players and there is happening so much. I don't say that it's, it's your fault or it's their fault. It's not nobody's, it's not nobody's fault. But no, it's, but it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a thing that has happened. And this need to be clear yes. this situation. Again, uh, I agree with you, and uh, it's nobody's fault, but everybody's fault. It's a like coaching staff fault first. I always said that the coach, the head coach, have to take responsibility when things are not going well, as well as when things go well. So, uh, head coach uh, has always to put his face. But again. Uh, one thing that you mentioned about this 
uh, players that are still here. But if you think the players that will be here next season, uh, and from the, the, the last uh, last two seasons, only Enka, Moisander, and Ari Newman are players that are here from two, two seasons ago. Uh, because the other players that have seen the contra, Furu, Muxu, uh, Mika Oyala, they all came this season. Not to see, they weren't here two seasons ago, which is different from those players who have been here also two seasons ago. Uh, but in football, maybe even one new player coming in a, in, a, in the changing room can affect the others. Let alone this season, where six, seven, eight players will, will, uh, will be new. So uh, also. The old players, the players that are here, want to show more to the to the new ones. Want, they want to show that they are not that bad, like the table says. So, uh, and this happens every time there is a change. Even again, one player coming in a new environment can change the other. So again, uh, that was uh, needed, and I'm happy that. Uh, we are doing it and we will keep doing it until the pre-season will start. Then uh, in the social media there have been uh, lots of photos about the one player you have already told that are leaving the club. Julien Foba, he is still in Turku, he has been training with AFC Inter. Is there any possibilities that Julien wears the Inter Turku shirt next season? No. And he knows the fact that he, he has trained with us in these three days uh, was the only one, the only player that he knows who left that asked to train. It's because he's here in Turku, he will remain here. And he asked me if we can, if he can train with us. And I said yes, of course, because Julian Fobert has to be clear. Probably he didn't perform as we all hope and we all expect it, but he's a top professional. He's, a, he's an example for the young players. His commitment, I have never uh, had any problem with him. So, uh, when he asked me if he could train with me, I said, of course you can. And uh, there's no problem at all, but it doesn't mean that he will be here next season. I, I spoke to him. He was the first player who I spoke with one month ago, he knows since one month ago that he's, he's going to leave because it's my choice and uh, when I say something about renewing the team, refreshing the team, again, it's not only word that I take responsibility and I did the same when I started playing the young players and I knew that it could uh, cost goals, it could cost results in the last part of the season, especially in the last two games. But I, to be honest, I don't care because I prefer now to have players from the start of the season, next season, like Elias Classic, that have already had an impact on the Vegas League. And, uh, and we will have players that uh, will be more uh, ready to play if we want to. I want them to play, of course. But back to Julian Fobert. I wish him all the best for uh, for his future, but of course he's not going to be here next season. Any words for the supporters who are waiting for the new preseason? No, so much as you have already fixed. You know you're going to play against somebody. Supporters, they are anxious to know if there is something already on the table that you are going to have some away games or something. But you mean before the so before the season starts? Yes, of course. Before the season starts, the uh, the main uh, game we already plan is uh, an away game in Stockholm it's against Aiko on the 27th, and uh, of course we are planning the whole pre the whole pre season according to the uh, cup schedule. But there will be uh, also a couple of um, friendly games in December. But of course, the supporters don't don't have to expect more from those yeah. days because uh, there will be only a couple of games to assess maybe some trials, maybe some new players, young players. Uh, the only thing I can tell to the supporters is uh, it's going to be a different season, and um, of course. 
we, all, we are all disappointed from the, this season and uh, we, we, we are working and we are making sure that uh, things are going to be different. Thank you Fabrizio really much. Have a nice vacation and good luck with the preseason that starts in December. Thanks. Tämä oli tässä kaikki tällä kertaa FC Inter TVstä. Tärkein tieto tuli sieltä, Fabrizio vahvisti tämän, että 27. tammikuuta se on Stockholm Away aik vastaan. Todennäköisesti paikka sitten on Schütteholm, kun kyseessä on AIK. Ei muuta kuin hopi hopi lomapäiviä varamaan ja laivalla tuut tuut matkataan Tukholmaan. Kiitos kaikille ja palataan asia Inter TVn taajuuksilla. Ma 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 